In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can rank any website on the first page of Bing in 24 hours. With all this free traffic, you can sell, promote, and market whatever you like. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial, so even if you are new to SEO, you can do this. Full details are also in the description, so feel free to check them out. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I publish content on SEO every week, so if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is find our keyword that we're going to target that we want to rank really quick. The tool we're going to use to find our keyword is Google Ads. If you don't have an account, just grab one. It's totally free. I want you to head over to Tools and go to the Keyword Planner. Then we're going to click on Discover New Keywords. I write a lot of content around AI, so I'm sticking to that niche. So I'm going to type in here AI Writer and see what comes up. You can see here at the moment, I'm just looking for Australia, but I'm going to add the US in as well. Okay, and then we'll just get the search results. Okay, so we can see AI Writer is between 10 and 100,000 searches every month, and it's medium competition. So we probably won't go after this one directly, but we might find a word that's related to it, and then we can mix it in a bit with AI Writer. So after scrolling down a little bit, I think we've found what we're looking for here. And what we're actually looking for specifically is a keyword that has a three month change of at least plus 900%. We're looking for a year on year change that is on the upwards trend and we're looking for competition that is low. So this keyword here, AI rewriter with an estimated monthly search of 10,000 to 100,000 is perfect. And what we might do is blend this in a little bit with just AI writer as another keyword and we should be ranking really fast. So the next step is we're going to put these keywords into Google and we're going to look for some key information. Just over in Google, I've just Googled AI rewriter review. And the first thing I'm looking for is this section here that people also ask. So what we want to do is just copy these questions and paste them into a notepad somewhere because we're going to refer back to them. The reason these questions are so important is when people search for AI rewriter review, they're also searching for this type of information. And in our content, we are going to answer all of these questions. The next thing we want to do on this page is look for two high ranking articles. Now I've selected this one here from Blogging Wizard and also this one here from Elegant Themes. So I've selected these articles for a couple of reasons. One, the obvious one, they're high ranking, but two, they have a similar style and the kind of information that I would like in my article. And that's the information we're going to extract from them. Now I've also Googled AI writer review. And again, I'm going to copy these people also ask questions. Also, I need another top ranking article. So I've selected this one here, best AI writers of 2023 from Tech Radar. So on our notepad, this is the article we're going to go and, and write AI writing and rewriting tools. And we have these questions that people also ask that we're going to make sure we answer. And we have three reference URLs. All right, now we're going to extract our keywords. And to do this, we're going to be using Python, VS Code, and a custom script. If you don't have Python, head to python.org and download it for your system. Next one, Visual Studio Code. Again, if you don't have it, head to code.visualstudio.com and download it for your operating system. The next bit, and probably the most crucial piece, we do need this script here that is the multi-page keyword analysis tool. So to get it, just head to this website here, the Ambitious Hub. There'll be a link in the description and then click on this one here and it will take you to the page that's got all the setup instructions and the actual code itself. Alrighty, so I've got a bit of a split screen thing going on here. Once you've got your Python installed, Visual Studio installed, you should be just about good to go head to the Ambitious Hub and grab this document and it should look something like this. I do update it quite a bit, so it might change a little, but essentially it'll have the guide to install it. It'll also then have the code, which is down a bit further. And it's also going to have some prompts and other things that we're going to use later in the video. So just over on the left hand side with Python, what you want to check is Python actually installed. Just go over to extensions, click on Python, and you should see here 102 million downloads. It should say uninstall here, not install. If it says uninstalled, it's installed. So you're good, right? So then we head back up to Explorer. 
And you can see there are two files here. You won't have these here yet if you have not set this up. Now, let's just go over to instructions. This is what you've got to follow. Install Python, tick, we've done that. Install Visual Studio Code, we've done that. All right, the next step is then we create a new Python file. To do that, you just go over here and you'll see this little icon here with the plus on it. It says new file. Just click on it and you want to paste in this keyword analysis.py. Then we go to the next step, copy and paste the code. All you have to do here is head down here and copy all of this code to the very end. And you'll see the very end is with this main brackets here. Once you've got all that copied, you just head over to Visual Studio Code and paste it. So starting at the import re, as I've got here, right down at the bottom. Once all that is pasted in one big hit, the next step is you want to go up to file and press save. That's super important. Once that is done, you want to go up to the top and you want to go to view and then click, click terminal. So terminal, new terminal, and you'll see this box open up down here and you'll have a prompt. The next step is one by one, you want to copy this command here, copy it, paste it over here. I'll just do this one and then hit enter. And it's going to install these four prerequisite modules that you need to be able to run the script. Once that's done, you are good to go. If you'd like more details on how this is done, I will put a video link above and at the end, and I actually go through the install in a lot more detail and a bunch more steps, but I've done it so many times, I'm going to skip a bit of it in this video. Now we are good to go to run it, copy the command line and we are good to go. So I've hit enter on this one. Let's see what it says. It says, how many web page URLs do you want to analyze for this first round? I'll just do one and it says enter the web page URL. So let me just grab the URL. So I've just gone full screen here to make it a bit easier. And I've got the first URL, this one from Elegant Themes, and that's run. Now, what you will notice when you run it for the very first time, it'll generate this file called kw-analyst.txt. So let's just click on it here. This is where the magic happens. So what this script actually does, it goes off to the internet. It scrapes all the content from this URL, and it returns three key bits of information, the LSI keywords, the high frequency keywords, and the high frequency two word phrases and in the brackets you can see the frequency that these either keywords or phrases are appearing in that content this is really useful but now what we'll do is run it for multiple urls and we can get an aggregation and normalized data which is what we want for this video let's run it again how many do you want to analyze three now this time it's actually going to ask us what is the expected length of your article in words. Now, this is the one we're going to generate. I'm going to put 1500 words into our URL. I'll enter the first one here. Now I'll just grab the other ones. The second one, I'll grab the third one. All right. Now with a bit of luck, the text file will be updated and it has. So we've got our three URLs here, Elegant Themes, Blogging Wizard, and Tech Radar. For all of them, it generates the LSI keywords, high frequency keywords, the high frequency phrases, and the frequency of them. Now, if we scroll down further, this is the really cool part. It aggregates it and normalizes it based on the length of article we intend to write. So this is the information that is critical. We now have it and we can use this with ChatGPT to write a killer article. It's also worth noting that the script gives us some handy information. Now, if this starts to look familiar, it is because you may have seen something like this if you use the Surfer SEO content editor or Neuron Writer. It's basically what those tools are doing. They're going out, they're scraping, and they're extracting this information. But rather than paying $69 a month, you can have this 100% free. Just go grab it. The other bit of information it gives us here is that based on our article word length, it tells us our H1, H2, H3, and H4 uh, tag counts. These are our headings and how many we should have, and also provides some tips. Okay, now we want to draft our article using ChatGPT. Let's do our first draft of our article. You can use 3.5 or 4 for this. And first, I'm just going to prep the AI. So the first prompt here, I'm just going to paste it in. It basically says you're an SEO expert and you draft high quality blog articles that are published online. These are published in English and they should target a readability level of 10th grade. That's important. 
This means short sentences, the use of bullet points and lists to improve the readability. Do you understand? And of course, it understands. Okay, so I'll put the next prompt in now. So our next prompt, the first draft should be around 1,000 to 1,400 word range. Do not use the title conclusion in the content. Be more creative. Do you understand? Okay, it understands as usual. Okay, here's our next prompt. So we're going to ask it to draft the blog titled AI Writing and Rewriting Tools Review 2023. Let's go. ChatGPT has generated a really good article, but we need one more prompt to complete this first draft. And that is, we need to get these people also ask questions in. So the next prompt here, this is going to ask ChatGPT to rewrite the article and include responses to these highly asked questions around this key key search query and also stating that it must be an in-depth article so let's run it okay so chat gpt has rewritten the article and it is taking in consideration that people also ask questions to answer that within the content the next step is we need to use our high frequency keywords we've extracted and custom instructions to create our final version of this article next we need to open a new chat then we want to open up our custom instructions so just go and do that here are the custom instructions and this is key to this step what i've added in here under what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide a better response i've basically got in here that i create seo articles for my website mangojuice.app and i review high ranking google content and i scan it for lsi keywords and high frequency keywords and if i provide you with an SEO article, I expect that you will update the article, include these LSI keywords and high frequency keywords. Now under here where it's got, how would you like ChatGP to respond? Basically what I'm asking ChatGP to, to do here is, I needed to rewrite our draft article and include these LSI keywords, high frequency keywords and high frequency key phrases at a frequency that is relative to the article length we're going to generate. And if I scroll down here a bit, you can see here, these are the LSI keywords, the high frequency keywords, and the high frequency key phrases that we got from our Python script a bit earlier. Now I'm going to activate the custom instruction and press save, and you'll find these custom instructions in the document that was available via the Ambitious Hub. Okay, the next step is we redraft the article. To do this, first we just need to prep this new AI. The first thing I'm going to ask it is, using the custom instructions, can you update a draft article for me? And here it says, certainly just provide the article and I'll update it with the SEO elements uh, as specified in your instructions. Okay, so now we go back to the previous blog that we drafted. We just copy this one and we'll paste it in here and go. Okay, so this is our final article. It is a really good article and I expect this will rank really well. But we're not quite done. What we want to do for, a, for an article that is going to tick all of Bing's boxes is we also need a table of contents. So we're just gonna ask ChatGPT to do that for this article. Okay, that's great. Now we also need our meta, meta title, meta description. So we'll grab that. Okay, so we've got our meta title and our meta description. So basically in terms of the written content, we have everything we need. I'm also now going to go off and use the Bing Create to generate some custom images. And I will also use Bing to find some high ranking current URLs to also include in an article that can be helpful to the user. If they read this article and they want more information, you want to be able to allow the user to link off to other information. If you have that information on your site, link to your own information. If you don't, find other quality information to link off to, because this is about being helpful for the user who's reading your content. Okay, it's time to publish our article. Now I'm using Webflow CMS. There is a link to Webflow in the description. I'll try to show you why I think it's better than many of the others out there. So with, with Webflow, you can set up a template for your blog. So once you've done the template, you just complete all the fields and then your article will be published, structured 
And every time you publish it, every piece of content will have a similar look and feel and just makes the whole process so much easier. So the stuff at the top is fairly self-explanatory, except I'm just going to point out that you'll see the exact keywords are in the name of the article, which is basically the title of the article. And also it's important that these keywords are in the slug as well. And that's the URL that it'll be published at. And you can see it here. It's at mangojuice.app posts and then AI writing and rewriting AI rewriting tools review 2023. Going down a bit, the short text, this can be used on a page where you're seeing the article and it gives you a bit of an excerpt around it. We've got that from the meta description that ChatGPT generated for us. We've also got the SEO meta title here that we just saw generated, the meta description, got that. These images, these have been generated using the the Bing Create tool. It's free and you can create some amazing custom artwork, which I think is better than using stock images. Next one, this is really important. This is the table of contents. And not only is it just say what's in the article, which search engines can pick up on, I've also got links. So it makes it easier for the user to navigate the article. So if we just hover on this one here, for instance, you can see it's got a hash too. And if I go down to this section here where it says the the embed will only appear on the published and exported site. If I click on this, you can see there's a custom bit of code here. So when the user clicks on the link for the heading, it'll take them to that section of the document. So it's just adding these extra bits and pieces to make it easier to navigate and also gives more information for search engines to crawl. Going down a bit, you can see this template breaks the content up into three sections. So you sort of got post content one, there's another section here and it's split by an inline image. There's another inline image. And then we have the final section here, the wrap up. And then we have this section of useful links. It's worth doing this. You don't have to. If you have your own content in the niche, you can link to link to your own content. But if you don't link to external content going down a bit further, as this is a demo site, we've got a bunch of authors set up in here. So it's good to have an author. We've got a category. So we had the category. We had the tags in. From a SEO point of view, this, this article has everything we need. Now I've published it, so let's go and take a look. So if we head over to mangojuice.app here, you can see here is the article, AI writing and AI rewriting tools review 2023. That's our excerpt. If we click on it here, we can scroll down a bit. It just looks like any other kind of article, I guess, except it has all these key SEO features, which we've just talked about. If we click on one of these links, it'll take us to the section. I think what you'll find with an article like this, it will rank fairly fast because we've targeted keywords that are low competition and have got massive growth going on. Probably the big question is, does this process actually work and can you prove it? If I go to mangojuice.app again and we just take a look at, say, look at this one here that was done a couple of days ago and I did a video on this one as well, which you can check out. This article here, it's titled How to Use Bing Chat GPT AI, a comprehensive guide. If we take a quick look at it, you'll see same features again, custom images, table of contents. It's all broken up nice and well, and we've got useful links at the bottom. Now, if we open up Bing and we do the search Bing Chat GPT Guide 2023, we can scroll down a bit. And as you can see, it, this is the article right here, and it is in position number Two. I think you would agree that if you follow this process, you can definitely get results. You can get on the first page. You just got to put in a little bit of effort and everything I've shown you is totally free. So if you got some value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.